What's good y'all? It's Akira here back with another vid D O. So guys, today's video is gonna be all about making cool and cute sweatshirts like this one right here um, for yourself, uh, for gifts, for your brand. I'm gonna show you how to make this shirt, how to actually make your own custom tags, hang tags, as well as an interior tag for the back of your sweatshirts. So you can apply this not only to sweatshirts, to two-piece sets, you know, tops and bottoms, all that good stuff and i'll be showing you all how to make this on my cricut explore 3. um so i'm so excited to show you guys how you can do this how you can make these amazing sweatshirts and how you can do this for your friends your family for your brand um so without further ado let's get into this video that today is sponsored by cricut Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. And this is where you can create your projects, browse from hundreds of images and fonts. And once you've created a design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. Now before we get into the fun, don't forget to like this video, comment down below to see if you want to see more videos like this, as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the good stuff that I put out here on this channel. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into how you can make this for yourself. Project in design space. I've already uploaded my self-love club image that I got off Etsy and I will link it down below. Um, I wanted this image to have a background, so it's very easy to do an offset now on Design Space. Um, so what you want to do is select your image. You want to go to Offset, and it will automatically, uh, once it loads, it does take a little bit of time to load. Um, but once it does that, you'll be able to see the offset start to generate on the screen. So I don't want anything too crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Um, and now what this will do is that it will have you have two cuts. The first cut will be the self-love club, and then the second one will be the offset. Um, as simple as just head it, going ahead and choosing making it and getting that sorted out. Um, I use materials that require the mat. So you see that you have the outline here and then the basic cut is here. Um, I didn't lock the image so it's uh, broken up into two pieces, but I'll go ahead and lock it so it cuts all, all together and then you're all set to get making. So for the actual t-shirt design, I'm going to be using this Cricut iron-on and the color is parchment. My camera won't clear, but anyways, then I'm going to be using this foil iron-on in rose gold to layer them for the self-love club t-shirt. I think you guys will like this combo, so let's get into it. So I got both pieces cut out and I'm about to go ahead and weed them. Got my heat press warming up here. I'm gonna be using 295 for 30 seconds for the foil and 300 for 30 seconds for the heat press for vinyl. Um, this is, I talk about this tool all the time. This is the True Control weeding tool. I love it. This is how it looks in the packaging in case you guys wanna get it. I will also link it down below, best weeding tool ever um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pop on my weeding tool boom so i got both of my pieces weeded um this is the outline this is the text so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to press these so you can have cool outline text for your clothing brand. So here I am laying down my heat mat so that it doesn't damage my surface. I'm going to go ahead and also layer the sweatshirt on top. Um, once I do that, I'm then going to go ahead and heat up, preheat the area in which I'm going to be applying first the foil outline. 
and then from there I will be going ahead and pressing the materials onto the preheated surface as you can see I'm using my Cricut heat press at 295 for 30 seconds to lay down the foil transfer All right, now that that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and pull her off. So the first layer is cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and be adding the actual text to it. And you just wanna make sure that everything lines up really well. And all the outlines are like where they should be. So this looks pretty good. Right, right, right. Self love club. Look how cute that is. And how much better it looks with the outline. So I'm going to go ahead and press this. And then we'll show you the final result. Okay, so now that we got the sweatshirt made and looking fabulous, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the internal inside tag for the sweatshirt so that you can make these custom for yourself, for your brand to sell, to have, whatever. Um, it's a great way to bring your product and also give your product a more high-end feel um, so people don't just think you're just using a glitter sweater and putting some words on it and selling it for way more, but it gives it that illusion that your product is worth more by adding that little difference of a tag so i'll show you how to do that very easily right now now for your tag so if this is for your clothing line i'm gonna go ahead and just cut out the tag that came with this and we're gonna put the self-love club right here um, if you were doing this for your brand, you could add a size, you could add all tons of things. Just for this example, and for my sweatshirt, I'm just going to be putting the Self Love Club logo right here and that same foil heat transfer vinyl. The same thing, I'm going to go ahead and upload that Self Love Club picture that I used for the tag. Um, and this is going to be the inside tag for your brand. So you will put your own personal branding on the inside of the tag. Um, I think three by three is like a good, a little bit under three by three is a good tag size um, because it'll be prominent and it's different than what most retailers do. So very simple, you just go ahead and upload that self love club file and just hit make it. And I'll be using the same foil iron on for the sweater. So I got the sweater just folded over. I recommend that you do this part first and not put this on first. Um, so because I did it the other way around, I will be using my mini press just to make sure it doesn't touch any of the other heat transfer vinyl. And then this is what I'm using as my little tag. So easy to do. And these are perfect for like people who have custom brands to be able to really easily make custom tags for your products. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my easy press on uh, heat option number three and just do this for about 30 seconds and you have a self-tagged custom sweatshirt for your brand. So I went ahead and pressed this on. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel. I think you're supposed to do this as a cold peel, so let me leave this on and I'll peel it once it's cooled. Okay, so we made the inner tag. It looks amazing. And like I said, it just gives that little extra, mm, especially if you wanna charge more for your products. That is something that customers are gonna look for, that, that little individual personalization. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to make a hang tag in case you sell in a boutique, if you just wanna send your items out with hang tags, um, just to have that additional brand recognition for your customers. Um, very easy to do, very fun, low cost, especially if you already 
own a Cricut in the product. So let's show you how to make the hang tag. And quickly make a tag. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go to images here in design space and I've already searched tag. Um, this is gonna be the first tag that comes up. It's free. So you can use it if, even if you don't have design space access. So this is the tag, very simple, very easy. As you can see, it's a cut file, so it will cut out this tag. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna be working with the Self Love Club. Um, so I uploaded this image that I purchased off Etsy. And very simple, I'm going to resize this to fit on the tag. And actually I wanna make the tags about, let me see, like three and a half, I'll make it a little bit bigger just so you guys can see it when I make it. Um, and then I'm gonna put the self love club here. I'm gonna make, rearrange the size here and put self love club on there. Um, and then what you do instead of, uh, you go to operation instead of basic cut, you are going to select pin. From there, it'll turn it into a pin file. So when you go to make it, uh, and I will be using, um, without a max I have smart cardstock um, it is going to show you first the pin and then it's gonna do the basic cut for you so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys how so to make the tag I'm gonna be using the smart paper card sticker cardstock uh, I wouldn't normally use this but this is what I have um, and then I will be using these Cricut ultra fine point pin set to make the tag and it comes with so many different colors so you have the option to customize your tags for whatever works for you I thought it'd be nice to use um, the red fine point pin to make the self-love club so I'm going to go ahead and put this in clamp A to get it started. So you pop that top off, go ahead and load this into clamp and boom. And there's our self love club tag. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and show you how I would apply this to the sweatshirts. So here is the tag that I made with the Cricut, the self love club tag. Um, and I'm gonna just show you how easily it is. I showed you how easy it was to make this and I just wanna show you how you can tag your garments in case you are selling them in the store. Um, if you just like that extra hang tag look for your items. Um, I got this tagger, I think that's what they call it, hang tag thing or my jig, um, but very easy. Um, I'll link this down below. Um, so like I said, I made this custom hang tag with my Cricut. Uh, just a matter of putting the hang tag through here, piercing it through the clothing, making sure that it's all set and ready to go. And then you just hit the button. Detach it from that. And boom. You have label, inner label. You have a hang tag for your custom clothing. And guys, so easy, so fun. And it really can make your small clothing brand or business pop. Like, this is hot. This is hot. <laughs> So I love how the sweatshirt came out and I want to show you guys another version of this with an actual sweatsuit so that you can see how you can make matching sets for your brand or like I said for yourself or whatever. Um, I think the matching sweatsuit thing is going to be a trend for a long time to come um, and not just for like sweatsuits and pants. You can always do this for a t-shirt. Um, you know shorts and t-shirt matching that type of thing um but without further ado i'm going to show you how i made this cute sweatsuit and how you can make these two for your brand and uploaded my new york tennis club uh file that i made in canva i'm just going to resize it to like the biggest size that i can make it 
um, on a 12 inch mat. So I think it's like 11 by 11. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit make it. I'm gonna be doing this on mat. And then I'm also going to be making a small version of this for pants so you guys can see exactly how you can do this. Some of you's foil, you guys loved it. I loved it too. But oh, how hard it is to pick between these two foils to put on this gray sweatsuit. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's gonna pop more. What do you guys think? Okay, so same process as last time. I got my heat mat here. Um, I got my big transfer and stuck to a cell. But I got my big transfer for the sweatshirt. Then I got the little transfer for the side of the pants. Um, I just want to show you guys how you can easily make a cool sweatsuit. And you guys know I got this gray sweatpants and sweatsuit combo. Let's go ahead and get the first part done. Okay, so it's preheated to 295, which is the best for iron-on foils. I am going to just heat up my surface really quickly. Get that nice and flat and going. Now, just want to make sure that everything looks legit. And I'm going to go ahead and place my image right there. And I just stand up to look at it and make sure it looks straight. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply for 30 seconds at 295. And I'm gonna do this in sections because this is a big um, image. Now let's cool down. I can go ahead and remove the backing to reveal this club sweatshirt. <laughs> It actually came out really, really good. I really, really like it. I am going to uh, now show you guys how I make the pants and then show you guys the whole outfit on me or I'll insert it somewhere in this video. So for this, I'm going to put this a little bit lower on the sweat paint mark so like you can, you'll can you be able to see it. Um, yeah. So now I got this little, and this is, you can do this for your brand. You can make them say anything. I think it's a great way to start making like custom sweatsuits. Um, if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the small New York Tennis Club item right here. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and peel. And literally that easy. And now you have a matching sweatsuit fit. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you wanna see more like clothing based cricket videos down below cause I'll definitely make some more. What was your favorite sweatshirt, sweatsuit? What was your favorite? Um, and will you be making this for yourself and for your brand? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I love this sweatshirt. I'm actually gonna be wearing this out today. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.